today I've got a bit of a different video uh, here on the channel. Got a bit of an unboxing today. Um, first time doing something like this here. I've finally ordered and received some new studio lights which I've wanted for months and months um, and I'm really excited to get them set up and see how they are going to affect this little space of mine. So yeah, I thought I would take you along for the journey. We'll do a little bit of a first impressions, a um, bit of an unboxing, and I'll show you the difference that they're gonna make here in the space. So yeah, let's start cutting things open. Also, just as a quick side note, I also got a new easel as well as a new camera bag. I was gonna do those in separate videos, but I think I'm just gonna do this more like a bit of a studio vlog and we can set them all up and go through them all in one. So stay tuned for those as well. So I wish I had a nice big reflective bench. Shout out to Unbox Therapy to do this on. But the studio floor is gonna have to do. Um, so I just ordered all of this from Amazon after doing a bit of research. Um, lighting, I guess like anything can get a bit crazy in terms of price points, but these new ear lights seemed like the best way to go um, as this space is rather small anyway. Um, and it is going to be a bit of an introduction to uh, creating better content and learning about lighting, I guess. So it seemed like this was a good place to start and there's always room to upgrade down the track. Um, but the first packages here are just tripod, tripods sorry, for the lights. So nothing too exciting, got two of those. Um, and then in the big box here, ordered something else as well as the lights. Pillows today. Also grabbed this lower pro bag. Low pro. Um, I needed a new camera bag after one of our cats peed in my camera bag and I couldn't get rid of the smell. So it was time for a new one. Um, again, I had actually seen this bag previously and it was like 80% off, so it was a good time to buy, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Let's pop that to the side. And then in these two boxes here are the lights themselves. Might just bring you down for a closer look. Speaking of cats, my cats are going to be all about that massive box. But these are the light panels. I actually ended up purchasing my light panels and the tripod separately. There are some bundles online, but I was able to find the newer version, um, which comes with the remote, um, a lot cheaper to get shipped out by itself as opposed to in a kit. So yeah, it just seemed like the logical thing to do. They come in this uh, quite nice soft carry case. I won't be doing a lot of protecting, but it'll be, um, they'll come in handy just for transporting them basically. But yeah, definitely wouldn't want to drop your lights in this thing. It is not well protected at all. So these are the light panels themselves. I've actually seen these before. Um, they come with barn doors already attached, which is fantastic. They also come with a diffuser panel also great but um yeah we'll uh, set up a tripod and we'll have a look okay eh? so in the back of the panels themselves you can see that they have slots for batteries which are sold separately a small lcd screen as well as dials which will allow you to adjust the uh, brightness as well as the warmth of the light which is super handy um, and then coming around to the front side again uh, i've got the barn doors which are adjustable and also a diffusing sheet, um, which is also really good. But um, let's switch up our focus here and we can have a look at getting it attached. So we've got the first one set up here. This is the small 2.4 gigahertz wireless remote I was mentioning, which allows you to turn the light on and off, uh, control the 
overall capacity of the light as well as being able to adjust the color temperature so that's going to be super handy when I'm lighting different scenes here in the studio but for now let's uh, jump across and we'll set the other light up as well So I'm just gonna give you a bit of a quick run through um, with what different lights in the studio look like. So this is with none of the lights on in the studio at all. This is with a 80 watt LED um, down light, which is directly in the center of the room. And then right now I'm just going to turn on and slightly and slowly start turning up the new, uh, new ear lights. And as you can see, it is bouncing light around the room uh, really nicely and is giving me a lot more clarity on the canvas which will really help when I am photographing uh, final artwork as well as providing me with more light and detail whilst I'm working on the paintings themselves so yeah overall it's a really really good improvement. If you've been watching any of my recent videos you would have heard me talking about uh, getting a new easel yesterday it finally arrived and I'm really excited to cut it open and have a look. Uh, it's about three times the size of my old easel, which is this one here. If you saw my last video, you would have heard me complaining a little bit about it. It just doesn't quite go as high as I want it to, and it's really not all that sturdy when working on large canvases. This one, on the other hand, is a H-frame easel, uh, which means it's supported a lot better at the base. And it's also on wheels, which is super handy. It also folds away quite nicely. So yeah, I'm really keen to cut this open, have a look and uh, get it set up. So let's do it. And this is the easel all set up. Um, it only took about 20 minutes to do by myself, which was great. It came with all of the tools and everything required to do so by myself. So that part was super easy. Um, I'm loving at the moment that it's on wheels. It makes it easy to move around the studio as well as the ability to actually lock the wheels themselves. The only thing that I have to note, um, well, firstly is that it's incredibly easy to adjust the height of the easel. But at the same time, the top of the easel actually gets quite high. I don't know if you can see that in the frame, but that's reaching up to the roof. So, um, I'm kind of thinking at the moment about potentially cutting this main support pole down uh, just a little bit so that I am able to raise it a little bit higher. I don't tend to work on a lot of large canvases, however, the canvas that I am working on at the moment, I need this to be extended all the way to the top. So that is something that is worth noting. But aside from that, it's incredibly sturdy, easy to use, and there's my cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, loving it so far, it's definitely a huge upgrade, and I would definitely recommend it. Also love that the base of the easel is a H-frame as opposed to an A-frame. It just makes it overall a lot sturdier to work on. And the final thing to go over today is my new Low Pro backpack. So after my last camera bag got ruined, I was looking for something that was really minimalistic, um, well padded, lightweight, and this seems like the perfect fit. 
So I'll just quickly go over the compartments up front. You've got a small loose change pocket, which brings you to the front of the bag. You've got a slightly larger pocket. Um, you'd be able to fit, I'd say, a 13 inch device or an iPad. I've actually got my iPad Pro here, which is 12.5 model and it wouldn't fit. So small tablets or really small laptops. It's a bit of a shame that my 12 and a half inch iPad doesn't fit, but uh, a lot of the time I wouldn't be taking it to jobs or I'd be driving. So I wouldn't necessarily need this to fit in the bag. Along with that, um, you've also got different sections for pens, SD cards, uh, just well organized, a bunch of small uh, pockets. On the sides, the left and the right sides, you've got drink holders as well as these clips, uh, which would be really handy for holding tripods. Uh, that also acts as some um, additional safety to get into the main compartment. And in the main compartment here, you can see we've got a zipped up pocket up the top, which is quite spacious. Um, removable padding so that you can fit out the bag as you require, as well as a SD card slot down the bottom here. Overall though, it seems like a really well put together, durable, lightweight bag. And I am excited to get back to murals so I can put it to use. But for now, I've covered everything in this video. I hope somebody out there found this information rather useful. Personally, I've found that sometimes finding art studio related sort of information, uh, particularly on things like easel and the lighting can be a little bit hard to find online as it's a bit of a unrepresented community, I think in that regard. So yeah, I hope somebody out there finds that information useful. I'm really loving the easel, can't wait to use it more. Um, currently working on my largest canvas and it has been a blissful experience working with it compared to my old easel. The lights are also incredible, I've been loving those. They're a huge upgrade uh, for not only in my artwork but also for my videos and at quite a, an affordable price, especially to get into lighting. The bag I'm looking forward to using more, I haven't had much of a chance to use that, but first impressions are that it's really well built, uh, it's really lightweight and basically has everything that I require. So for now, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you around.